Hi, this is Max from arbitragehero.com and in this video I am going to talk about reverse search. The reverse search is available from online arbitrage section. So here it is. So if you click on it, you will end up on this page. And we have three options for you for reverse search. So one is to search by a comma separated list of ASINs or you can put a URL from Amazon and we will try to grab ASINs from it. Also, you can search by a storefront and finally you can upload files with ASINs which we will be able to analyze for you. So let's have a look how this search works. Okay, as you can see, Arbitrage here went to Amazon page and grabbed multiple ASINs from it. Below this form you can see filters and they are similar to what we have in online arbitrage. Basically, you can select which category you want to get products from, the matching score, and also you can apply custom filters as well. You don't have to use Amazon link here. You can also paste multiple ASINs in this input field. So once you have ASINs in here, you can press update and Arbitrage Hero goes and searches products which you can source from multiple stores which we have in our system. In addition to filters here, you can also use this option search all and what this option does, it goes and searches for products at our backend. This search can be a little bit slower, but it might return more results. So by default, we search for products in our cache. But again, if you check this search all option, then we will go to our backend and we will search for products in there. So let's try this. So I can press update here. So you can see that Arbitrage Hero went away and found 8 pages of results for those ASINs. So you can see that you can source products from multiple stores like Barnes & Noble, from Target, from Kohl's, from Best Buy and from other stores. So this is how reverse search works when you put ASINs in this input field or when you use Amazon link to grab ASINs from it. Okay, next option which I want to show you here is search by storefront. So let's go to this tab and here you have exactly the same filtering but the only difference is that the sourcing part of the form has storefront ID in it. So let me just paste random storefront ID which I grabbed earlier, but you can find it on Amazon pretty easy. So the way, for example, here I am on Amazon website and if you are using our extension, then you can go to offers, press on any link from the offers list. For example, if I press on the first one, uh, we will open the storefront for this particular seller and when you grab a link let me just go back to show you in here so you can see there is a url parameter which is called me equals some value so the some value is the actual storefront id so if you just remove everything else and leave storefront id in here so this is the value which you need to use in this search form. So let's press update and you can see that Arbitrage Hero goes and finds products which we could identify in this uh, particular storefront and it grabs reverse search results and brings them to you so you can spy on your competitors and source similar products as they do. Okay, so finally Let's go to file upload. In here you can upload a CSV file 
with asins in it. So the way it works, you press upload. Okay, when you press upload, it comes up with a default name which uses current time, but you can give it a different name. Let's say test upload. And then in here you can select the column from this spreadsheet which you want to use as async values. So let's press analyze. What it does, it uploads asins into our system and then in the background it analyzes it. Once this progress bar becomes blue and you see the same numbers on the left hand side of it and on the right hand side of it, it means that Arbitrage Hero has finished analyzing products for you from that file. So if I press the icon which looks like an eye, Arbitrage Hero goes and searches for products which you can reverse source from the stores which we support. So this is how reverse search works in Arbitrage Hero and I'm sure that it will help you in your Amazon business. I hope this video was useful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.